Range Planning Committee meeting to order. Uh, roll call. Um, Mr. Zorman? Here. Uh, Mr. Edmund? Here. Ms. Mason? Here. Great. And we also have uh, Mr. Lejeune with us as well. So uh, very excited to have you here. Thank you for coming. Um, so first I'll make the remarks that we, uh, this is our second long range planning meeting. We are making a point to visit schools that we uh, want to ensure that any facility concerns are addressed we want to put our eyes on some of our older schools especially um, but we're going to be looking at schools in every portion of the parish so that we kind of get an idea of, of when we're doing our long-range planning uh, the number of students what facilities are working some of the issues with the, with the facilities that we've targeted and maybe um, if we're going to do a replacement or a um, addition to that we have a clear picture that that's the right move to make for the parish um, so right now we're at JW Falk in the library. We've done a tour at 1130. So I'll go on to um, talk about, we'll, we'll, we'll all discuss what we've observed in that uh, tour in a moment. And we'll also get an update. Um, the main point of this meeting is to get an update today on our strategic planner where we are in the hiring process and, um, and maybe how we can work with him to proceed forward um, in a little bit more of a more disciplined fashion. So in that vein, I will turn it over um, to the superintendent, um, Mr. Francis Tuchet, for staff remarks. So first of all, thank you, Ms. Labou. Um, this past week, uh, both um, Ms. Gardner along with uh, Dr. Robley uh, joined me into interviews with our strategic planners. We've had two people or two groups of people that have actually showed interest in, in uh, what is going on. Based upon what we're looking at as far as pricing, when you start looking at state law, uh, it, we're gonna need to have a third party that's gonna need to be considered. So we're in the process of looking. So based upon the two that we actually interviewed, uh, one group is, uh, is out of New Orleans, another group is a, a group of which uh, I think uh, the strategic, Mr. Garrett, is where? Out of, we have, uh, I think out of Texas, steady state impact. Yeah, out of so Texas. So we kind of interviewed, uh, kind of gave them an overview of what you guys have directed me to do as far as looking at, you know, again, uh, what specifically are those immediate uh, issues that we have. But I really pressed on each of those different groups to look at what that five, 10 and 15 year down the road. So I will tell you that um, there is, is going to be, the most important thing that I will tell you is that I said that this particular group that comes in, we're gonna to need to make sure that we are communicating all of these different steps out to whatever is happening in those different communities. So there is going to be part of this plan, someone that's gonna be having surveys that go out to communities, going and actually looking at holding community meetings and making sure that they are involving us along the process, just to assure that you know the direction that needs to go. I will tell you that I think this particular committee is a committee that is gonna be instrumental that when you guys have this, we would need for you to kind of be making sure that we're on the agenda and giving you updates of where the strategic planner is. So to kind of just sum up, we've already interviewed two. We're looking to get a third one in and I'm gonna ask from this committee because I think I read from the actual agenda item that is up to me, but I, what I would really strongly want is to see exactly if I need to bring this back to the board, that if there's a recommendation from our team, Dr. Robley, myself, and Ms. Gardner, if there's a recommendation that I need to bring that to the board, or y'all want me to go ahead and start moving on this. Uh, again, it would be something that we would have to bring to y'all probably in May because we, I think we're, we're a little too close to different doing different things. So um, I'm open to whatever suggestions that you guys have. So I make a motion to move forward. I would second that. So you basically yeah. are saying is go, go ahead and yeah. go we, ahead. we already directed you to, yeah. to go through the process and as long as you're following the law. Yeah. You're, you're going to have to work with them more than all. You'll be working with them more one on one than we are. So if you're, if you're comfortable with it, tell us. I mean, I don't need, I just need your direction. So again, we will, we will make a decision on getting someone there. 
The one thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to always communicate who that particular group is. I'm going to send an email to all of our board members. But more importantly, I think it's going to be important that our communication to the public is that they know also that this process has begun. Yes. And then from there, mapping it out of exactly what is going to be happening through that process. The deliverables are this, that they will bring something back to our team in the month of October. We will bring those particulars to you guys in the month of November. The most important thing that I want to say is that my team has told me that in order for us to be able to make decisions for the 25-26 school year, we have to know what the direction of the board is in. This could be making decisions about academies. This could be making decisions as far as bringing schools together or adding wings at certain schools. And again, that, that is definitely things that could be part of one year, but also more importantly, five, 10, and 15 years down the road. So we will get that information in October. We will make sure that it gets to the board in November and then that there is going to be specifics as far as what you guys consider because we're going to really need to move on that as far as a team, okay? I guess, Tisha, um, to, to um, piggyback on them, the reason why, because the Magnet Academy lottery closes yes. in December. In order to give all parents a choice, we want to make sure, that's why we, um, Mr. Tisha, set the hard deadline of when it was due to allow the board to make those decisions, to allow parents to make choices about what if they chose to apply for a lottery if something had to be closed, he gave options and not waiting to the end. So we, will, we will move forward. We'll get someone hired uh, within the week. Uh, and then from there, we will proceed in getting you all an email that's going to kind of tell you exactly who we're going with. And we'll get it out to the public and we'll start the process. Thank you, Mr. Touchet uh, and Ms. Gardner. Um, number 2.3 is approval of agenda. Uh, we, we actually, um, yeah, everybody review their agenda. I'm sorry, I was thinking about last one for the minute. So everybody review their agenda. And if there's anything that you would like to um, hear your questions about or would like to table, please let me know. Do you have a motion to approve? A second. Okay. And all in favor? Yeah. Oh, any public comment? Yes. Oh, well, public sorry. public comment. comment? Anybody have a public comment on the current agenda for this meeting? Can I ask a question? Yes, ma'am. Will the scope of the um, work by this committee be designed by the administration or will the consultant that has chosen bring their own itinerary? You talking about this specific? This particular one, yes. The this people. Is board this, is, this is a board committee. No, I understand. And, I understand that. And what we will do as far as the strategic planner is we will provide information to this group along with the board, and then those decisions will be made from that point. And we'll, we'll make the re ultimate recommendations to the board. No, I understand that. I was just wondering the scope of, the, of their, of what they look at. What, that's, they, they're bringing that with them. That's part of their expertise. And then you will communicate that to this committee, and then the committee will make a recommendation to the board. And, and this committee could consider things outside. So the scope of this committee could include that and additional things. Okay, thank you. Um, I think you'll have an established set of deliverables and then yet yeah, we will supplement that with other things that we know that the district needs through our, um, I guess our analysis of the district as we move forward. Thank you. Um, so all in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, I'm sorry, board comment. Anybody have a board comment? No. Any opposed? Okay, motion carries. Um, and then 2.4 is just a review of the March 5th, 2024 minutes. If you want to take a moment just to look those over, um, if there's anything that you um, have questions about or you would like to um, you know, discuss or have added you know, for discussion here or in the future, let me know. So I, I, I do want to turn it over to Dr. Robley. Um, and, and basically it is from our last meeting on March 5th and mm -hmm. Tuesday. We're gonna need your direction on certain things that were kind of informed of us, but there is gonna be some specifics that our, our schools are waiting on as far as how we proceed and how we need to start with next steps. Uh, there was a mention about SJ, I mean, SJ being somewhere else or what would we do with that particular property. So um, I'm gonna turn it over to Doc, he's gonna kind of 
give you guys an overview of what his team is faced right now and what decisions or directions you guys need to point us in. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Tuchet. Yeah, so real quick, guys, this won't take long, but um, when meeting with the group after the last March meeting, uh, there was a few things that were kind of raised. So we were kind of in um, limbo with you know, Neyland Park from Lafayette High that basically we were going to enter a lease agreement to use that facility as well as update it to provide some of the athletic functions for Lafayette High while it was being built as well as um, in the future once it was built as an additional athletic facility. However, we were also at SJ at that same time looking at, okay, we have this property pretty much adjacent to that Lafayette High School property to see if um, that was another potential source of either uh, athletic facilities for Lafayette High or SJ Montgomery uh, rebuilding or renovating or redoing some things for that school at that site. So saying all that to say you have one site that could serve, you know, uh, either as a athletic facility for Lafayette High or as a new um, site location or a new school location for SJ Montgomery. So in talking with the team and they're here too to answer any specifics, our kind of, I guess, uh, look for a recommendation was to go to the board to the where we could start a drainage analysis impact study on that site to see a if it's a viable option for either one of those mm -hmm. and then bring that to either the strategic planner or you guys to see where we want it to go. So it was kind of, I guess, the motion to get some information and background mm -hmm. while we're hiring the strategic planner so that we at least have all of that at the table to make those long-term decisions moving forward. So long story short, it was to see if you guys were comfortable with us bringing that to the board to go ahead and do a drainage uh, analysis impact study so we could determine the viability yes. of that yes. site to move forward. Absolutely, and I'm, that was one of the questions I actually had for you today. Um, and the, I said that the drainage is an issue over there, but as well as the plumbing, I know that that's been mentioned as an issue. So I know for either facility, whether it be a sports facility or a school facility, I know we'd also probably need an assessment on the plumbing um, okay. issues that are moving forward. So I would like to make a expand upon that motion and do both drainage and the plumbing issues because I know that that could sway our decision um, or make our decision. Kind of further infrastructure. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So motion. Uh, can I make a motion as the chair? All right. So um, can I make a motion to? Uh, Approve the drainage impact study. As well as, as, as plumbing. plumbing. As, as well as plumbing. As well as plumbing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I second. Let's clean that up. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll be able to bring back a motion pretty quick to the board. <laughs> okay. And I don't okay. know what the timeline of uh, yeah. drainage Yeah, basically making a motion to do the drainage study and the plumbing study. Yeah. Or plumbing study. Something like that. Yeah. The data from the analysis here may give you all a better direction what you want to do because there's a big difference in the amount of work to be done if it would become an athletic facility versus a new building because right, right. there are some major drainage issues on that property that we could probably move forward with it as an athletic facility with putting less funding into it right. versus if you have to prepare it for a new building so right. but if we just get the okay to move forward with the drainage analysis it gets us ahead yeah, so let's do that and, and just a reminder to everybody here that the school is below 50 percent capacity and we've identified schools that we could divert the students to that are also to my district uh yeah in comparable numbers um and so that's kind of why we started that discussion um knowing that we were going to put a lot of money into a facility we didn't know and we have property Correct. here and we have schools that um could encompass and absorb the students as is without having it um, even be near capacity for those schools. So, um, so Miss Labu, so mm -hmm. so if if you guys approve this, we will take that item and put it on the May agenda item, so that we can proceed. But understanding that the kneeling process is just halted, we're, we're not going to move forward. Y'all are good with that. That we're not moving yes, forward correct. with that. Okay. Yes. And, and just so y'all know for comfort of this, I have had, uh, I did have Desiree read the contract we had with the city on Neyland. We're not bound to anything financially there if we step out of this. Okay. If we proceed with it, we're going to have to put a quite a bit of money into a facility we don't own. So I, I did do quite a bit of research Thank and I did you. consult with Desiree. Yeah. And with a, a lease that'd be temporary. Yes, yes. correct. Yes. Uh, okay, so I guess that's our, our motion. We, will we have a second? Do we need to have a new public comment? So, good. Can yes. Well, you have a board question. Well, I'll, I'll make it. In yeah, yeah, she'll make it when we do board call. Uh, my question would be, uh, will you communicate with the city drainage uh, departments so to see what costs they might pick up? Because that should be part of your analysis. In so, other words, it, the costs, if you convert it versus if you mm -hmm. remodel and repair it, you still... Yes. 
you might be able to share some of those expenses. Yes, and we typically do, and we've been lucky. So the uh, projects we've done, we've absorbed the cost up front with a negotiation with them, and after the project, they reimburse us. I see. Okay. So it's been working Thank out. Thank you. Any other public comment? Okay, board comments? Um, I just want to make a comment that I know that the Lafayette High baseball team has already put their own money into some things at Newland, so I just wanted everyone to be aware Keep of that. that. Keep that in mind if, if there's any reimbursement or mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Can you get, can somebody give us like accounting of that? Just yeah, so if they could give us something on the accounting side. I know we haven't put any money into it yet. I'm sure, I'm sure Nick can, can yeah. maybe Nick, can you bring that to handle <clears throat> on it? Uh, it's about the baseball team itself. Uh, to my knowledge, the improvements were minor in repair. Very it was minor. just making sure that they didn't have any holes that uh, an ankle could be twisted in. It was basically to get it up to speed and shape in order for them to be able to utilize it as a practice. So okay. And this was booster dollars that were separate and apart from uh, the some Olympia general, Parish funds? And some, some money from my call center as well as some of the uh, school level accounting funds as well okay. was put into it. Uh, not an astronomical amount of money. They didn't make any major renovations to it. It was just to um, you know, have a bullpen to be able to practice pitching, to get the playing surface to where they could field ground balls and take fly balls without the threat of twisting an angle or something like that. I think what Ms. Mason is asking is that, you know, yes, we, we put money into it, but if the school and the kids and their programs put, get that amount so that we can see if we don't go in that direction, that we can see about how we could, they could recruit that. Supplement. That's all. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yep. And we are using it right now, correct? Right? For practice uh, yes. here and there. So is that those dollars are being we're put into something that we are getting some use out of. Absolutely. So um, in the interim we will need to be using a facility anyway, um, and this project will probably take a good year. So I would assume that, you know, what we put money into it and we will be using it for that that year at least so that those dollars won't have going to um, for non use I guess um, okay so do we need it we need a vote I guess um, would y'all like for me to read the motion yes please yes. the committee approves to bring to the board to begin drainage impact study as well as plumbing study to SJ Montgomery Elementary's grounds motion by Miss Mason second by Mr. Decimo no, all, in, uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. aye any opposed okay motion carries um moving on anything else from the minutes and again the minutes were already approved at our um march board meeting we're just re reviewing um the, the yeah clarifying or, in, or reviewing the um oh sorry the april board meeting uh the full board just kind of looking through it <coughs> to see if there's anything that we want to bring back to the forefront so um, hearing none, I'll move on. 2.5 discussion and review of the tour of JW Falk Elementary School. Um, this is really just a discussion by the board members. Uh, if you don't mind, I'll start. Um, I ju we just noted some, after discussion with the administration, there were very little complaints. Um, and the school is impeccable, impeccably clean, uh, bright. Um, I'm, I'm really impressed with all of the uh, covered walkways and things that we've done to um you know try to keep the school in a in a good condition yes it's a it's a what year was this built you know? it's built in 1959 oh, it was 1958 and okay. 1959 1963 and 1965 they had minor renovations and additions and in 1999 is when the last big overhaul was including the library the wing and the front office okay so the, the and river it was 99 right. was overhauled mm -hmm. uh, but i will say that the i will i was impressed with the amount of lighting um upgrades and uh, the facilities, they, they had very little issues with the function of the facilities. Um, there were some questions about staffing, a full-time nurse, some, um, you know, again, some minor paint requests um, and maybe some mold remediation that I know we're looking into in, in one little area. So um, overall, it was a very positive review by the administration and the, um, the student population here is 480 students. Do we know what it was built for? I don't have my sheet in front of me. It's at six. It's um, had over 600 in years past. Correct, right. Okay. So but, I don't know what the capacity, yeah. but I know it's housed at over I'm 600 kids. Yes. Yeah. She said it's 473 right now is the population. Right. So 473, um, and that's pre K through fifth grade. Right? Ms. Yeah. Mason? So from touring SJ Montgomery and the school and Al Jalma, which were all built around exactly the same time with the same, same footprint. Year. Mm -hmm. This school has definitely been the most well maintained. Mm -hmm. 
it's, I mean, to say Alma and J.W. Falk are the same <laughs> is yeah. incredible. Alma's in horrible shape, and um, this place looks really, really good. So, yeah. so the car capacity um, is 753 um, when it was assessed back in January, and the current enrollment on January 23rd was 371 students. Okay. 371 students as of January 23rd. Oh, okay. With a school capacity of an average of seven. Yeah, she told us three, four, four. She told us four, four seven, seven, three. Is that right? I have three hundred and seventy-one. That's what's on you. She, she said that they'd gotten more students but, since January. Yeah. Yes, and that's yeah. what I said. That's why I wanted to quote January twenty-third. Yeah. They got a hundred kids. Sometimes that will happen. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, so registering every day. So. Yeah, correct. We did. She did know there was a very high transient population, high risk students, um, and so there's a lot. I, I could foresee that that would be um, there'd be a huge fluctuation or swing. Wouldn't be abnormal. Uh, that's a little more than I would expect, but yeah. Um, she also said there's been a lot of transfers from back from Willow, back from uh, Larka, and also I think Holy Family. So there's there's been some changes in just people being unenrolled and re-enrolled and um, and then we've had like I said a lot of transient high risk students so yep. maybe that's a foster care situation my, my only comment is the same as you said I mean you can tell they've taken pride in what they're doing yes and it's funny what a bucket of pain will do and for as old as this building is uh, the dedication that they, they talked about and showed us yeah it's pretty, pretty yeah. impressive uh, it could save us a ton of money down the road maybe I don't know but they've done a you're right they've done a great job of maintaining it I didn't hear of any maintenance issues, so I mean, we got an AC that they're working on right now. But yeah. um, unless I'm missing something that's hidden, then you're right. It's yeah. it looks really good. The yeah. fresh paint, I love the smell of fresh paint. So. Yeah, well, and, and also their metal is not like corroding and right. yeah. So, yeah. You know what happened at Al? Yeah. Yes. So kudos uh -huh. to the school for, for doing that. I think most of us have had children at Alamo, and we can all agree that if this school was built at the same time, it is. It's a ten, and Alamo is a four. Five and in, in, in the comparable buildings, some areas have been updated. Obviously, the, the cafeteria and some of those buildings have been brand new and built recently. But this school is now. I, I do want to note yeah. that the the front office is very cramped, and the nurses' office I think was yeah. like four feet by five feet, yeah. it, and it looks beautiful. <laughs> it has like a tiny little cubicle, and so the nurse has done a great job. But I can't imagine. Yeah, the germs in there. Yeah, <laughs> we're going yeah. to see the nurse. Um, so. Yeah, and that was one of the things mentioned if we could staff a, a nurse for a longer period of time here. Um, I know they're sharing, I think, with three other schools, or maybe they're sharing two nurses with three other schools. So it's not, anyway, so maybe that's something we just need to keep our eye on and review when we do staffing. I have a question. Uh, Superintendent, is this one of the schools scheduled to have a festival? I think it is. Do, do, do we yeah. think this one is yeah. this, this, this is not one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Oh, wait. Because uh, I think just the that front office, which is the same issue at LJ Alamo mm -hmm. and um, SJ, SJ, you know, just that front walk in area. School. This one is a little bit better. Though. This one is yeah. more secure. It's because it's definitely the more secure. Okay. There's yeah. more room in the lobby mm -hmm. area. And the new but, gate. The, but it's the. Um, administrative offices right there that are just yeah. it's like a little maze mm -hmm. through there so just a consideration mm -hmm. and this is a school that received uh, or is going to receive a portion of that Pew Family Foundation grant mm -hmm. so we're going to be transitioning to that longer school day three meals provided to the students um, longer instructional time um, and more resources being poured into the kids um, whether that's a academic or just other resources so um, so we're excited because it's it's a beautiful facility I think more kids will come back when they get those options available to them um, a longer day a lot more help with the parents and resources and tutoring and so I think this school's gonna bloom and I think it's in a really great shape to do that but hopefully we can um, if there is anything that needs to be remedied um, hopefully we'll keep our eye on it and, and help them get yeah, that. I, I'll just say that we will probably have to and I'm gonna turn this to Robert and your <clears throat> team's attention that again this is a facility that regardless of what happens with it moving forward that we're going to need to look at in those pods and in the area that roof mm -hmm. and see if we can do some type of suspended and see what a price would be for any of this i mean this this is nice i mean yeah. in their main office it's nice but in those rooms as we have seen at scott middle 
I mean, that stuff is eventually going to start falling. So to me, as being proactive, let's get a price on seeing what type of suspension we could do there. And again, we can't, we got to take in consideration AC and all that stuff. Yeah. So yeah. that's something that you guys can just kind of maybe look at. Yeah. Also, it's a cafeteria, right? Cafeteria. You want to yeah. Cafeteria. Yeah. cafeteria, definitely. Uh, cafeteria just has lights, so it wouldn't be as big of a deal there. We've looked at doing it. Some schools, the, the, the bump in the road tends to be uh, electrical lines, other things that are there, mm -hmm. but I didn't see as much in the way here. Yeah. So this looks more okay. doable. Okay. And we send that to, uh, we will do one more walkthrough uh, before the summer, just in that transition into ACE uh, programming. Mm -hmm. We're also going to get uh, new classroom furniture for this school also, oh, just as an additional upgrade to some of these classrooms, because a lot of them have not had new furniture in these. So even though they've done a great job with the facilities, mm -hmm. there's been less of a, a turnaround on some of the uh, furniture. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. A, and, and another thing, I don't know if y'all notice it, this does have a completely brand new roof. Uh, it's been going on here for about the last five months they've been working on that. Mm -hmm. So before summer, it'll have a new roof on the entire building here and LJ. LJ has the exact same thing going on. So uh, the roof is what makes the life of a building. What, what projects did one of our schools do here? Um, so can you want to take that, Mr. I think it, it was a lot of painting, a lot so of So in 2019, um, when uh, we actually came home as an administrative team of our schools, adopted nine schools that summer, when we had over 3,000 oh, workers. Okay. And so they came in and repainted all the doors, the outside, the green landscaped. Um, and then last summer and the summer before, um, a team has come out to try and help with the facility of donating mulch. The community has done an excellent job cleaning this important. But the picking tables, all of those things. Um, you, can, and you can really tell. Yeah, yes. like so it has been loved. Like, I thought they did some lighting as well. Yes, yeah. um, but 408 students here, which also includes uh, two pre-K classes at 34 kids. Yeah. I think we have two pre-K and then one four sped mixed pre-K. Four or eight, we including pre-K. Okay. Um, how many Butler buildings do we have here? Um, currently, as of today, um, it looks like we have, just give me two seconds. We haven't done here. Yeah, I didn't see any. I don't think so. There's not a There's not a I didn't see any. I didn't see any. This is in a very bad. Which, if you did take a tour today, um, the interesting factor is if you were outside on the back side by the playground, you would see some random sidewalks. Uh, in 2000, um, sorry, 1998, um, that was all portable. So that was a complete oh, okay. portable area. Uh, this was the first school that I ever set my foot on in um, mm -hmm. when I was in college from doing my hours. And I was out back, but there was a whole sea of portables back there. So that was in the 90s? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, the, the yard and out. the playground equipment looks brand new. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, is this one of the ones that you just did, the playground? We, we did. Yes. Yep. It looks great, really. Honestly, this school is so bright and cheery. The teachers were wonderful. I'm I excited. The playground was replaced in 2000, in the summer of 2022, Ms. LaFleur's office, and Ms. Christie handled that. And this building was built in 99? 1999, yes, ma'am. So in order to get rid of the portable buildings, mm -hmm. in order to get rid of the sea of portables that I mentioned that were right. there in 97, 98, they built this wing and they remodeled the front office at the time. And so um, they were able to get rid of the portables. It's also the same year that we did a lot of construction here. When we opened J. Wallace J. I mean, when we opened Divide Oak, we opened Charles Burke. We opened um, Gauntlet. At the same yeah. time when they built those schools, they built the additions on some of these wings. Mm -hmm. I just, I just want to add, Kate, I, I, I came to school here from 80 to 85, oh. and I'm, I'm, I'm impressed how it looks, you know, it, it looks real good, you know. And uh, the only thing I may want to make a reference to sure. is in the area where they got the dryer and the washing machine in two different areas. Yeah. Okay. I would make a reference to like try to put that together, you know, more for convenience for yeah. whatever. There was a washer and a dryer. That's a washer in one room and a dryer, dryer in another room, and they wash clothes every day for the kids, uniforms. Yeah. Yeah, they said a lot for the pre-K nap mats, and right. then um, if right. kids come with clothes that are still, they'll wash them for them and give them new uniforms. Yeah, but the dryer's in one building, or one home room, yeah. and the washer's in another building. Yeah, we had to do very that. Very good, yeah. Oh, water, yeah. Pay all that it could have. I think it was that in the water. The water. Yes. water yeah. Um, but Mr. Coach, I saw it. I think we were going to talk about trying to help them get that space, um, especially with us having now a longer day right. yeah. for kids. Um, a good thing with the um, the grant, the ACE program, Grant, they're going to get a sweatshirt and a um, t-shirt every child. So, um, so we want to make sure that those stay in good shape too. So, um, 
So I think definitely we need to reconfigure the washer dryer laundry situation because there's also no place to put the laundry once right. it was done. Right, right. So we just need to help them figure that out. I put a whole laundry room. <laughs> yeah. It may be a matter of just moving to a place. brand new location. Right, right. Yeah. 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 Or even a larger washer. Yeah. 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 Maybe we could put the nurse where they are. Put them all in one area. It's a bigger area. I do know a foundation that donated some to North Sides. Um, okay, anybody, anything else that struck you from the tour? Um, and one of our alumni from here is, is on the board, so it's great. Um, okay, the current facility project list, I know we kind of reviewed that at our last board meeting. Does anybody have any, like, anything that they want to add or recommend that we remove um, from that list? So I think J.W. Folk was actually on the rebuild list. Uh, and I would think that maybe that's not necessary in my opinion from touring it and seeing um, and knowing that we have um, already pinpointed some of the issues that need to be done and they look pretty manageable I, I don't think we would need to rebuild this school so but I'll defer to everybody else's comments um, I, I would say a complete rebuild is not needed but there's definitely some areas yeah. that could be re right. reworked i think like it could be done to a capital the entrance to the capital project agreement yeah. i think i think we could get it yeah. to i think the be. main administration building you know with is that where the washer and dryer were mm -hmm. i yes. didn't go in that room yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay okay so possibly the front building should just like alma just like um well sj's yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that that could be reworked and um, yeah, but I but everything yeah, yeah but everything else is yeah. I mean, this library is I would never yeah, tear when it comes when it comes down to priority, this is definitely this is not new school is not yeah. a priority here. Mm -hmm. So should we make a recommendation that it be removed from the <laughs> re uh, rebuild, rebuild yeah. list yes. and then um, okay, I'll make not a replace it. Well, we don't want to put it on the additions list because I don't think we've identified an addition. We've really identified like some renovations to the existing yeah. structure. So a, that would be the motion on the is just to remove it and then and maybe bring it back as a, a renovation project. Yeah. Ms. Mason. Um, Josh, do you have any comment on this part? No. Okay. Um, I'd like to make a motion to remove JW Falk from the rebuild list. A second. A second. Okay. And then any do we public have comment? <clears throat> what other schools are on the rebuild list? I'm not looking at the minutes. Um, not. Northside yeah. and S.J. Montgomery. But North, S.J. Montgomery is contingent upon the drainage and plumbing yeah. evaluation. Right. Correct. Yeah. But Northside is a total rebuild of the entire campus. It's on the list as a rebuild. Yep. Okay. And then we have the list of additions and renovations. Um, she, she do you want to see that? Yeah. Yes. Um, but the, the, those are the only uh, schools that are identified for complete rebuild, and one of them was this school, JW Wall. So. And I assume that any school that has capacity <clears throat> and also has Butler buildings would be subject to review for removal of those Butler buildings. Absolutely. And do you rent those or do you own those? We, we basically own them, but we're, we're going to look at trying to sell them or you know, do something with them. Okay. And last board meeting, I think we identified three, um, three or, or six total six. that were surplus property that we're going to try to sell. Yeah. So um, we're working through I've that. I've already seen a couple uh, yeah. at, at the park in Karen for the case that park. They already they yeah. bought one and they're actually using it for storage for the yeah. park. So we're, we are working through that. If we can get rid of them, we've, they, we've already got rid of a yeah. ton of them. But so the just to give an idea of what we've done in the last few months, Karen Crow Heights, when we moved to Bob Lilly, there were, uh, I think, 16 there. We surplused them, sold every one of them. Uh, whereas in the past, in a lot of cases, they were just being demolished where we pay for that to happen. We sold every one of those, so it didn't cost us anything. We are in the process of uh, getting rid of public buildings across the district. Mm -hmm. like we're not bringing new ones in. We own all of these and we're trying to get rid of all yeah, of them. It'd be a pretty hard public sale yeah. to justify any new construction Absolutely. if you have yeah. unused space and portable buildings. Yeah. 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 And Mr. Gertrude, the first uh, order of business, we did rent a lot of yes. portable buildings yes. before the last board even began new construction on wings. The first order of business to was to yeah. remove any ones we were leasing. So we were occurring in monthly expense. Do you put those up for public bid or is they're on uh, gov uh, govdeals.com? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. 
yes. Okay. Yeah. So it's a government option. St. Joseph's dying, but they're looking for more housing yeah. for the homeless. Yeah. So, so that might have, be, yeah. you know, another we'll possibility. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, and any more public comment? Okay, uh, board comment. I just wanted to note that last board, we kind of redid the whole way we were doing our Butler buildings. So um, they were recognized not as movable property. They were recognized as, uh, anyway, we changed the classification. So now we're able to get rid of them. And then uh, Mr. Gojra has cleaned up the process yes. even more. And instead of paying for someone to demolish them, we now sell them. Yeah, so that's great. Great, great. thank yeah, you. I gave a yeah. number the other day, I think, we saved in the last five months about four hundred thousand mm dollars -hmm. just in that with the new process. So kudos to Mr. Gotro and his yep. team. I know that it's a team effort and thank y'all very much for doing that. So good. Savings of four hundred thousand. I like to hear that. Uh, we have to vote on the motion to remove um, JW Falk. Anybody have any more board comment before we make a vote on the motion? Okay. I, I can read the motion. Please. The committee makes a recommendation to the board to remove J.W. Falk Elementary from the replacement list on the committed school sites additions, renovations, replacements that was approved by the board on February 7th, 2024. It's in your packet of what was approved. And I have that Ms. Mason made the motion and second by Ms. LaVoo. Or was it Mr. Oh, Mrs. Mrs. Chad. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. 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 Okay, all in favor. Aye. Any opposed? And, and again, we will we will continue to review it for renovation purposes. Um, we're not going to completely say it's it's perfect. Yeah. yeah. I want to make a motion to add it to the renovation in addition to this. Okay. A second. Okay. Great. Um, so motion by Mr. Edmund, and she is the proper to add the renovation. Yeah. And then second by Miss Mason. Any more public comment? This is just to add it to the renovation addition list so we can look at renovations for Mason, please don't subject to I wonder if we do a character next time. Yeah, yeah, let's talk about it at the end. Yeah, yeah. 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 absolutely. Um, okay, so any board comment? Okay, good. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, great. Motion this. passes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, 2.7 was the update on the status this. of the strategic planner. Um, the superintendent was wonderful to update us on the beginning with the staff remarks, so I think we're going to move on from that if everybody feels comfortable with the, the update that he gave us and with the directive to move forward on getting that. Um, that uh, third person uh, interviewed and then to decide on the strategic planner. Um, anybody have anything to add to that? Okay. Great, 2.8 um, is community input, and I apologize. Uh, again, um, we, we're looking at having a, um, a business here to speak, but it just didn't work out. So we're gonna have to figure out, um, maybe uh, maybe we'll include those community partners in our strategic planning um, sessions so that we don't have to, we can work around you know, figuring out a better time for people in business versus having um, them come to a school at lunch. It's just really hard. So um, community input, we will modify that moving forward into having some type of community input that will include business leaders, but in a different format than this. If that's okay with everybody. I have a comment. Yes, um, Possibly we could look at the cafes that the Love Our Schools mm -hmm. is working with that's for, that's the, for the particular school mm -hmm. and invite those specific ones that they've already identified. Because yeah. they've, they've done all the work to find right. who is supporting which right. schools. And right. so Absolutely. I think just a simple invitation to those to these facilities. And we had some community leaders that are um, the one in Scott that we just did. Oh, good. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'll reach out to um, Millicent. Tracy. Tracy. Tracy Oakland. Tracy Oakland. Well, Tracy well, Oakland is handling the yeah. Love Our Schools relationship, so I think Tracy yes. would be the best yes. point yes. person. She has we'll, a good contact yes. for that. Yeah. We'll, 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 we'll handle that for you. So right. anytime that we go to a particular school, the we'll cafe make sure that the cafes are aware of and see if they can attend. Okay, great. Okay, yeah. Yeah. If you could give us a full list of when they all meet. Uh, I think I've got one in the class, but I don't know if it's up to date. Um, okay. Oh, the cafes? Yeah, the cafes, please. Because um, I've, I've attended some in the past, but I just um, I just need to have a better plan for Tracy Oakland has yeah. all of that. Dr. Robley yeah. will get with Tracy and okay. we'll get that to all of you. Yeah. Right, thank you. Yeah. With 47 schools, it's, it's a lot. Yeah. Kind of, they kind of consolidated yeah. a right. lot of them though now. Right. The same thing, business input 2.9. Um, just we're going to defer that and, and come up with a better process just because it's very hard to get um, business leaders here at this time. 
So we'll come up with a better solution, cafes, or some other um, process. Um, okay, 2.10, I think it was Chad's um, desire to have it at Karen Crow uh, next time. So I'm assuming that is Karen Crow. Information technology. So do you want to, do we need to make a motion for that or can we agree as a committee that that's our next I location? We make, you make the motion. I'll make the motion to have our next meeting at Carroll Grove High School. Okay. Um, any public comment? And well, Dave, you said, and I mean, is it set right now? Or it is. It's set. We have all of our community uh, our strategic long range planning meetings are already on the calendar. Ms. Christie can give you the May okay. date. It's already okay. set. Uh, it'll be the same format, 11.30 tour, and then 12 o'clock will be the actual formal meeting. Okay, yeah. thank you. And You're welcome. And what we're trying to do is address, in particularly, the, the academy, not the, not the school itself, mm -hmm. just the academy. Yep. Yeah. The next meeting is May 7th. So it'll be May 7th at Karen Grove High School. Yeah, so May 7th. Oh, well, I guess we need to vote, right? Um, so does anybody have a board comment? Okay. Um, I would like to comment that after Karen Crow, I need us to go to Alabama. Okay. Oh, true. Yeah, true. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I, I didn't mean to cut one. But, but it's just, it's just <coughs> a lot worse. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Anybody else? I don't have a comment for this, but I want to just give a comment that Ms. Trahan talked to me this morning, mm -hmm. and she gave her a call. She won't be able to be here because of uh, doctor's appointment, but okay. she said she thank everybody for the coming over here. Great. Thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate Ms. Trahan's service, and um, we'll definitely get her involved, you know, where we can. I know that she's a very busy lady. Um, okay. So, I guess, vote. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, so the next meeting will be May 7th uh, of the Long Range Planning Committee. Um, at May 7th, 1130 a.m. to 1 p.m. It will be at Karen Crow High School. Uh, and we'll, we'll find the specific room will be determined in the um, published calendar invite. And everybody wear dark green. Mm -hmm. And everybody wear. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody wear. We're at Katie and Alex. No, sir. Uh, <laughs> all right, anything else? If not, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. Thank you all.